Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Stetson with Stetson Lawn Care here. It is Monday morning, guys. Start of a new week. Let's make this the best week ever. It's gonna be a great one. There's Carlos just pulling up. But before we start, I wanna show you what I picked up yesterday. Just any regular, you know, sun hat. But then, check this out, guys. Inside, dude, it has a neck cover. So you pull this out and it covers your neck in the back. How cool is that? Because before, I've just been using a regular sun hat with a bandana. And I put the bandana out of the hat and drape it over my neck. But now, I got an all-in-one inclusive, man. This is so cool. This was $12. Best, probably best purchase I have ever made. I'll tell you that right now. It's awesome. But guys, uh, so they're here. We will uh, see you at the first yard of the day. All right, what's up, guys? So we're at the first yard. Got the two neighbors. And uh, we're gonna bang this one out real quick. Shouldn't take that long. Morning, Carlos. Morning. Morning, Echo. Morning, Jackson. How you doing? I'm tired. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna get this done. We just finished up this uh, first two yards, but I just wanna ask you a question and kind of like talk to you about this. So this client right here, uh, he's a landscaper full time. And if you can't tell by the ditch witch and his front yard, uh, beautiful landscaping. But so I give him a pretty good deal. And that be reason being that he has gotten me so much clientele over the years. I mean, at least 10 of my, you know, high end big accounts are from this guy right here. You know, he refers me to his landscaping clients and he said pretty soon he might, uh, he's thinking of starting like a maintenance program. Like his guys will go out there and pull the weeds, trim the shrubs every month and I'll, I'll be the lawn guy uh, if they wanna sign up for it. And we'll be doing stuff like that. So uh, I give him a really good deal on this yard. And uh, so yeah, I just wanted to ask, do you guys do that for your clients who have gotten you a lot of a lot of clientele? Do you give him, do you give them uh, discounts so to say? Because I do that usually. I have another yard where I charge her uh, $5 less because she got me she got me six other clients uh, of her, just her friends. And uh, so, yeah, but I just wanted to ask you guys that that's just what I do. I think it's, uh, I think it's the right thing to do to repay your customers back. Cause he's made me a lot of money over the years, but guys, I need to uh, scrape the deck of the right. It's already dirty, man. So, but I'm going to do that. And then we're going to head to the next charge. So see you there. What's up? So we just, uh, boys are finishing up blowing off this one, but guys, check this out. My weed eater broke. My SRM2620 is broken, man. Check this out. You guys see the head right there? The spring's popping out of it. Uh, obviously it's not unusable. I'm still using it, but uh, luckily I have an extra piece for the end of the head. I have an extra top piece at my house in the garage. So we'll just pop that sucker on there later today and we're good to go. But I've seen a lot of people like screw the put like put bolts on their heads you know of the weed eater heads and i don't know i've just never done that i've never tried it i'm thinking i mean it's not gonna wear out any slower and if you hit the bolt on the concrete you know you're gonna you're gonna leave a, a mark on the concrete so if you're scaled with the weed eater you know how to you know hit it in the grass and not get not scalp it so that's just what i've always done but i've had this weed eater for a year and a half so yeah that's about right it's time has come but all right guys Head to the next one.
everybody. How's it going? How's your day? Got the Wolfpack push-up challenge going on. Do you guys know about that? Carlos, you doing those today? Come on, do some push-ups. <laughs> oh, I heard my name. Whoa. Do some push-ups, Carlito. Are they talking to me? Jackson, do some push-ups. No? Well, I've done 30 so far, so I'm gonna do, need to do 25 more. My goal today is 55. So, I'll do it sometime within the next year. Hey, the neighbor mowed that side. What the heck, man? That ain't cool. Just kidding, that makes our life easy. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'll record this, two neighbors. Let's get her done. Oh guys, just finished up these two neighbors. I got 15 push-ups in over there in the shade. Not sure if the camera caught it, but so that's 30, that's 45. I need 10 more guys, 10 more for the day. So I'll do it at the next ones. Uh, so yeah, it's hot, hot, hot. This hat so far guys, hat's working great. It's nice not having to put a bandana on every time I put the hat on or take it off. But uh, guys, here's a question. What do you drink? What do you get for your guys to drink? Some days I'll get Gatorade, some days I'll get water, some days I'll get a mix like this. Went to Sam's yesterday, so I figured I might as well buy a 20 pack of Gatorade for this week. And uh, usually we'll just drink a couple a day and it, save it all week, so. But yeah, what do you guys drink? I'll either drink Gatorade or uh, the Arbon Fizzy Sticks. So yeah, guys, we are killing it, almost done. So see you at the next one. The next yard, y'all have seen it. This yard's turned out really nice this season so far. It's really green, really green. So we're gonna get this one done and call it a day, man. Monday is our, our easy day. We're usually done about two, so. Easy day, easy day, Monday. Monday is my favorite day of the week because it's the first day of the week and it's the easiest day. Doubles up, right? But, all right, guys, they got the mowers on. We're gonna get it done. And just like that guys, finished up here. You know what that means, done for the day. Like I said, today's our short day because we don't have our bi-weeklies. When we have our bi-weeklies, we get done uh, eh, a couple hours later just because of the bi-weeklies. Uh, but this week, this Monday is our short Monday. So favorite one, favorite day of the week this week. But we're gonna head back to my house. I'm gonna change out the speed feed head and the spring because the spring ended up coming out of that at one of the yards. So. We're gonna go ahead and change both of them on both the weed eaters when we get home. So go ahead and do that, see when we get there. So we're back home and I'm gonna be changing the speed feed head on my weed eater, but check this out guys, look at this. So this is the spring that was, here, let me get the daylight, there you go. You see that piece of plastic guys, that's melted onto the metal. So I wouldn't have been able to reuse this spring. I got off to trash it and trash this head too. But what happened was, you see how it used to be like that and the spring just popped through just like that and fell out. 
So I went to my dealer and we got a new head and a new spring. And guys, these are really cheap. I got two heads and springs for 19 bucks. So I mean, don't worry about about cost. That's that's really really cheap. Well, guys, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Just changing the head. I mean, all you do is put the the, the windy piece back in that winds up the string and holds it. Uh, put that back in. Make sure that it's good. The arrows are pointing this way, so that's the way you want to restring. Because if not, the string is not going to come out. Um, but next. You get your new head. Let me get back here. You get your new head. You put the spring in it, just like so, and clip it on there. Just like that, guys. And you got a new head on there. And by the way, did you guys know that? I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, you probably can't. But there is arrows. So there's arrows right on top of this, this speed feed head here. Can you guys see? That arrow right there, that points to where the hole needs to be for the string. So look at that. Right there, there's the hole, and that's where the arrow lines up at. And then you restring it right there. So simple, quick and easy fix, guys. I'm going to go ahead and replace the other one too, just, just in case for the future. So Okay, so now we're done with that. Back in the AC in my truck. And uh, like I said, we're done for the day, guys. But before we go, I want to talk about something real quick. Haters, guys. I saw a post the other day. And it really hit me hard and made me think, you know, this is true. It made, it made me think, guys. You know those posts that just make you think and you're just like, damn, that's true. Or stuff like that. I mean, here's, here's what it says. Fact. Haters don't really hate you. In fact, they hate themselves because you're a reflection of what they wish to be. So, guys, there's your motivational quote of the day. And when you think about it, it's true. All the haters that I get, you know, they're just people who are lazy bums sitting behind a keyboard. Or uh, they're jealous of my success in my business or my success on YouTube, stuff like that. Guys, if you're going to start a YouTube channel, I'll have a, I've had a lot of people ask me and they'll DM me on Instagram. By the way, guys, if I don't reply to you on Instagram, I'm sorry, but I got like 50 requests and I don't have all the time to go through each and every single one every day. So I kind of go, you know, I'll click on it and just select one out of random uh, every, every so often. So a couple days. So guys, if I don't respond to you on Instagram, doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. I'll, I'll see it eventually and I'll reply to you, so don't worry. But back to the haters. Guys, don't let the haters get to you, man. Trust me. If I let the haters get to me, I would not be where I am in my business and on YouTube, guys. You know, haters, and like whenever I was in high school or in middle school, you know, got made fun of for mowing lawns. They're just like, oh, you know, you're mowing lawns. And whenever I said I'm not going to college, I'm going to do my business full time, you know, uh, they'll just, you know, they kind of smirk and they're just like, really? This kid is, is stupid, you know? And uh, that's why you got to prove them wrong, man. And I sure did that, you know? I'm making really good money now for being 20 years old, you know? Uh, fresh out of high school. Well, I guess not really fresh. I've been, guys, I've been out of high school a whole year now. That hit me the other day. Like, dang. That went fast. So that kind of makes me, that scares me for the future, man. I'm growing up really fast. But like I was saying, guys, the haters, don't let them get to you. And if you're going to start YouTube, you're going to get haters, guys. You can't please everybody. Not everybody's going to like you. I'll tell you that right now. I learned that, you know, whenever I had maybe a couple hundred subs, uh, everybody was supportive. Then once I started hitting the 1,000 subs and the 5,000 subs and 10,000 subs, that's when all the haters start coming out of nowhere and they start commenting, you know, you're doing this wrong or, you know, they try to tell me what I need for my business when they've never, you know, seen, seen it. In real life, they just see the YouTube videos and they say, oh, you need this, you need that. When in reality, I know what I need. I know what's best for my business and uh, all this stuff. So just let them hate, man. Let it fuel your fire. That's what I do. You know, these, these hateful comments, they're boosting my channel for sure. You know, all the dislikes, they're still boosting my channel, giving me activity. It, YouTube's saying, oh, people are watching this guy's channel. We're going to push his videos. And uh, so that's, you know, all the haters, thank you. You guys are... Uh, definitely boosting my confidence in myself and in the channel so it's awesome guys i love it wolfpack push-up challenge ended up 55 push-ups today didn't record them i recorded like 15 at one yard i think but that's all we got that done you guys i hope you're accepting this challenge it's a good challenge i know i need to bulk up a little bit and it's helping me for sure doing these push-ups so my topic for the day haters let them motivate you okay don't uh if you're getting made fun of at school for mowing lawns uh, guys, I got made fun of and look where I am now.
in my business and YouTube wise, you know? Who thought that I would have 12,000 subscribers on YouTube? Uh, just a year ago today, I was at 600 maybe. So in a year, I got 12,000 subs, just about 11,500. Well, I don't even know how many subs I'm at, honestly. So, guys, let it feel your fire. Screw the haters, man. You got to get your hater blockers. I need to get some hater blockers. But for now, I got these sunglasses, guys. So they're my hater blockers. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow in another video. Tomorrow is Thunder Pumper Tuesday. Let's get her done, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out.